All right, so in this problem, I have five to the power of x is equal to zero. So I obviously want to find the value of x here. So for my solution, well, I'm going to first start by, let's, uh, let's start by trying out values of x. So if I have five to the power of one, for example, this is equal to five, right? If I have five to the power of, let's do one, let's do one less than one, zero. Well, any number to the power of zero is one. If I have five to the power of negative one, this is going to be one fifth. If I have five to the power of negative two, this is going to be one over 25. Let's say I have five to the power of negative 10. This is going to be one over five to the power of 10. So you see, as the exponent keeps on decreasing and decreasing and decreasing, well, it's eventually, well, it's approaching infinity, right? But will it ever reach infinity? Well, let's see if we can even find a value of x that makes this equal to zero. So the first step I'm going to do is take the log on both sides. So I have log 5 to the power of x is equal to log of zero. Now if I have something in the form log a to the power of b, I can move this exponent b to the front. So this is going to equal b times log a. So in this case I have log 5 to the power of x. And I can move x here to the front. So now I have x times log 5 is equal to log 0. Now, if I divide both sides by log 5, these two cancel out, and I get x is equal to log 0 over log 5. Now log 5, this is equal to 0 0.6990, and log 0 this is actually undefined, meaning I have x is equal to undefined over 0 0.6990. Well, if something's undefined and you divide it by a number, it's still going to be undefined. So, meaning the value of x is undefined. All right, so in this problem, I have m to the power of 3 plus m is equal to 350. So the first thing I'm going to do is subtract 350 on both sides. So then these two cancel out, and I have m to the power of 3 plus m minus 350 is equal to 0. Now, m to the power of 3 plus m minus 350, well, I can rewrite 350 here as negative 343 minus 7. So now I have m to the power of 3 minus 347 plus m minus 7 is equal to 0. Well, m to the power of 3 minus 347, this is the same thing as m to the power of 3 minus 7 to the power of 3. And I have this plus m minus 7. Now, if I have something in the form a to the power of 3 minus b to the power of 3, this is the same thing as a minus b times a squared plus ab plus b squared. So in this case, a is m and b is 7. So I have m minus 7 times m squared plus 7m plus 7 squared. I have this plus m minus 7 is equal to 0. Now, 7 squared this is the same thing as 49, so I have m minus 7 times m squared plus 7m plus 49 
plus m minus 7 is equal to 0. Now if I factor out m minus 7, I have m minus 7 times m squared plus 7m plus 49 plus 1, which is equal to 50. So this is equal to 0. So now this gives me two equations. I have m minus 7 is equal to 0, and I have m squared plus 7m plus 50 is equal to 0. So m minus 7 equals 0. This is the same thing as m equals 7, so this is already one solution of m. And m squared plus 7m plus 50, you have to use the quadratic formula, which is negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. So this is the same thing as negative 7 plus or minus the square root of 7 squared, which is 49, minus 4 times a, which is 1, times c, which is 50. And if you notice, this is the same thing as the square root of 49 minus 200, which is going to be a negative number, meaning this won't work, and my only solution is m equals 7. All right, so in this problem, I have 2 to the power of 24 minus 16. So to solve it, I'm going to first rewrite 2 to the power of 24 here as 2 to the power of 12 times 2. And if I have something in the form a to the power of m times n, this is equal to a to the power of m to the power of n. So 2 to the power of 12 times 2, that's going to equal 2 to the power of 12 to the power of 2. And I have this minus 16, which is the same thing as 4 to the power of 2. Now if I have something in form a squared minus b squared, this is equal to a plus b times a minus b. So in this case, a is 2 to the power of 12, and b is 4. So I have 2 to the power of 12 plus 4 times 2 to the power of 12 minus 4. 2 to the power of 12, well, 2 to the power of 10, this is 1024. So 2 to the power of 11, this can be double 1004, which is 2048. Meaning 2 to the power of 12, this is double of 2048, which is 4096. So now I have 4096 plus 4 times 4096 minus 4. Now this is the same thing as 5000 times 4092. Or sorry, this is the same thing as 4100 times 4092, which is the same thing as 4,000 plus 100 times 4,000 plus 92. So now to solve this, I'm simply going to just distribute. So I have 4,000 here. If I distribute, I have 4,000 times 4,000 plus 4,000 times 92, plus, now if I distribute the 100, 100 times 4,000, plus 100 times 92. Now, 4,000 times 4,000, that's 4,000 squared, plus 4,000 times 92, 4,000 times 92, that's going to be equal to, one second, 368,000 plus 100 times 4,000, that's going to be 400,000 plus 100 times 92, that's 9,200. Now 4,000 squared, that's going to be 16 million. So I have this plus 368,000 plus 400,000 plus 9,200 is 400,900. Sorry, 409,200. So now I have 16 million plus 368,000, which is 16 million 368,000, but I have plus 409,200. So this is going to be 700,000. 700 and 720. Sorry, 200. So this is my answer. All right. 
So in this video, I'm going to solve the problem 2 to the power of 25 minus 1. So to first start, I'm going to rewrite 2 to the power of 25 as 2 to the power of 24 plus 1. And then we have our minus 1 at the end. And the reason I'm doing this and rewriting 25 as 24 plus 1 so now I can use the property a to the power of m plus n is equal to a to the power of m times a to the power of n. So 2 to the power of 24 plus 1 is going to equal 2 to the power of 24 times 2 to the power of 1 minus 1. Now basically our goal throughout this video is to get to change our values to be as small as possible so then at the end we can do whatever we need to do with them to get our final result. So 2, two to the power of 24, how do we simplify this and make it even smaller? I can rewrite this as 2 to the power of 12 times 2. And another property of exponents is that if I have something in form a to the power of m times n, this is equal to a to the power of m to the power of n. So 2 to the power of 12 times 2 is going to equal 2 to the power of 12 to the power of 2. And I have this times 2 minus 1. So now I'm actually going to plug in the actual value of 2 to the power of 12 because 2 to the power of 12 is small enough where we know the value, the exact value of it. So if you guys don't know what 2 to the power of 12 is, well, 2 to the power of 10, you should always remember this as 1024. So 2 to the power of 11 is going to be double of 1024, which is 2048. And 2 to the power of 12, which is the value we're looking for, is going to be double of 2048, which is 4096. So now I get 4096 squared times 2 minus 1. And now this is equal to, I'm going to simplify this, 4000 plus 96 squared times 2 minus 1. And the reason I'm doing this is because 4096 squared is really hard to calculate by itself. So if we change it with four, to 4000 plus 96 squared, I can use the property a plus b squared is equal to a squared plus 2ab plus b squared. So in this case, a is 4000 and b is 96. So this turns into... 4,000 squared plus 2 times 4,000 times 96 plus 96 squared. And I have all of this minus 1. Oh, sorry. All of this times 2 minus 1. Now, 4,000 squared is equal to 16 million. 2 times 4,000 is 8,000, and 8,000 times 96 is equal to 768,000. And now I have this plus 96 squared, which is equal to 9,216. And all of this I have times 2 minus 1. So now, I'm going to add all these up. So if I add all of these up in the parentheses, I get 16,777,216. So now I have this times 2 minus 1. So if I multiply this by 2, I get 33,000,000. 554,432, and I have this minus 1, which is equal to 33,554,431. So this is my answer to this problem.